Hello everybody, my name is Split. Well, today I'm going to be talking about some of the most common motions or feeling that you might feel but you can't explain or you doesn't know its name X actually. Well, I'm also a kind of person like that and I'm going to be talking about this topic for today. Well, let's talk about three of the most easiest thing to pronounce and to understand, okay? First is locusm. Locusm. Locusm is a kind of feeling when you are curious about something. Like, imagine, in that time, you are walking past a road when suddenly a car stopped right before they hurt you. Well, that's a really lucky thing, right? But if you're a person who has luckism, probably you wonder, Oh my god, how can they do that? Like, it's really quick and it have helped me a lot, right? Like, did you ever wonder that? If you have them, you maybe have luckism. Having luckism isn't anything bad for sure, but luckism sometimes could maybe um, be something not really good for you. Huh? Luckism could also be called as M S M as L S M. Luckism is just like a feeling that you might love if you know that you had it because it's a kind of feeling that feels like relief. But also sometimes it could cause you serious curiosity. Next is eclipse. Eclipse. Not ellipse, but eclipse. Ellipse is a kind of feeling when you're wondering about something so 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 bad and it's just like you are wondering about anything around you. Ellipse is a kind of wondering the world or just like a kind of daydreaming but it's not really daydreaming. So how can you go out of this ellipse? Let's look at it. Well first, step back step back of that. Usually a uh, kind of breathing could help you to focus thing on other things but not continue wondering. So first take a breath and stay calm. And now when you're in a time where you're calm and you're ready to respond your question then um, you can answer it. And answer it in any kind of ways. Searching on Google, asking people, and probably your LS will turn away if you really can solve the question that the LFs give you. But yeah, let's just continue with the third kind, the kite feeling. It's just like a kind of feeling where you hate loneliness, but you want to be alone. You want to push people away from you. It's a kind of feeling usually when you're sad or when you're angry about somebody. And it could happen to anybody that maybe you doesn't know the name. Well, kite is a kind of feeling that's for people that hate loneliness but still want to be alone. Do you understand that? Loneliness, they hate to be loneliness. I mean, they doesn't want anybody to like ignore them or think that they're bothering you so much. So, also, uh, what about alone? Being alone is you go into your room by yourself and you spend time. Well, being alone is just staying alone by yourself. There's no, there's nothing. No pets or no animals or no living things around you. You're alone. But loneliness is different than alone, okay? So don't mix them up and say that, oh, loneliness and alone is the same. What are you explaining, okay? Yeah. Well, let's continue to some of more emotions that you might feel too. Like, you also might feel a kind of feelings called called Morgan Frisch. I don't know if I pronounce it correct. So if it's wrong, really, really sorry for that. Well, 
this feeling is kind of like when you want to go to sleep so 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 much that you could do anything just to take a sleep did you ever feel that if you have then you're having Mugenfrischk. if i'm pronouncing it wrong then another time sorry so much there's a mosquito and it's so big so let's come back to our topic, right? Well, that is some of the emotions that I want to tell you. Those emotions may sound like nothing and you don't need to worry about. But if you know about them, then maybe sometimes when you're feeling them, you'll know more about yourself and know about what you have in your body. So hope that this helps and goodbye.